Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Right now we are sitting in my car because we're going on a little bit of an adventure today which I'm so excited about but I'm going to take you guys thrifting with me. If you know me in real life or on social media, you will know that thrifting is one of my absolute favorite hobbies. I love it. I could spend days and days just, you know, going through other people's junk and making it treasures to me and I I just love it it's good for the environment and I just think the items are so special and it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy when you find a treasure that you know is going to look perfect somewhere in your house or an old vintage clothing piece I love that style anyway so thrifting is just my favorite but in this video I'm gonna take you guys thrifting with me and then when I get home I'm going to do a little thrift haul and give you guys some tips and tricks on how I find the absolute best treasures at the thrift store and so I'm so excited so let's go ahead and go thrifting okay I just got to Goodwill my absolute favorite place but I'm about to mask up and go in and find some goodies. Y'all, I'm back from Goodwill and I think they knew that I was coming today because they had so much stuff. I got literally two ginormous bags full for like 25 bucks. I got stuff for the house, some clothes, and just some really good treasures that I'm so excited to show y'all. But before we jump into the haul, I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks that I thought of that kind of help guide me in a thrift store so I can really find those treasures and not get super overwhelmed because if you're not used to doing it, it can be overwhelming and it can feel like this big daunting thing um, that you just don't know how to do because that's how I felt when I started thrifting too. So the first tip that I have is to take your time and be patient. Don't go to the thrift store when you only have like 30 minutes before you have to be somewhere or be home. Make sure that when you go, you're in a very calm mood, you don't have much going on that day, and you really just have time to actually sift through and look because you have to really take, I take about an hour or so sometimes in a thrift store if it's a large thrift store because you have to go through and really look at every single piece. And to do that takes a really long time. But where you find those treasures is when you're really just looking at every single piece on the rack and just just pulling stuff um, and if I'm rushing I won't find as much good stuff because I don't have the motivation to sit there and look because it does take time but it's for sure worth it the second tip that I have is don't go in looking for anything specific every time that I go thrifting if I'm like oh today I want to find a pair of jeans I won't find a pair of jeans so just when you go in be open-minded don't go in looking for a certain thing you can always have things in the back of your brain I always do but make sure that you're going in open-minded and just look and try to find treasures don't focus on if you need it at that very very second just look for things that are cool that fit your vibe that you like and I have found a lot more success doing it that way because it kind of takes the stress off of it my third tip is to buy things out of season. So lots of times when people clean out their closet and give stuff to Goodwill or a thrift store, they do stuff that is out of season. So lots of times in the summer you can find really, really good jackets, coats, sweaters, and then in the opposite, in the winter when you really are wanting a sweater or a coat, you can't find it sometimes. And so make sure when you go into the thrift store, even if it is August like today I got a jacket um, I got a blazer I got different stuff that necessarily I'm not gonna wear at this very second but it's not gonna be there if I wait till winter if you go um, to a thrift store it's kind of a one-time thing if you see it you have to buy it or it will be gone so make sure that you're just trying to buy things for different seasons don't focus on just going in and buying summer clothes um, because if you do that lots of times you won't find the good stuff and then my fourth and final tip for the day is to see a vision. So lots of times there's lots of ugly stuff in the thrift store, but within that ugly stuff, sometimes there's some stuff where you pull it and you're like, this could be ugly, but it also could be the best thing ever. And so make sure just to try stuff, go out of your comfort zone a little bit. If you think it has any potential, I always say just buy it. Most of the time it's like $2. And if anything, you can use it for a costume or you can give it to a friend. But most of the time when I buy stuff like that, it ends up working out. And some of my most worn pieces and used pieces in my house are actually from the thrift store. And I bought them kind of on a whim thinking, oh, maybe this will work. And then it ended up being one of my favorite things ever. 
So I hope that all those tips were helpful. But when I go to the thrift store, I'll kind of walk you through my process. So my favorite is Goodwill and the messier the better. I got that tip from Kristen Johns when I watched her thrifting video a little bit ago and I completely agree with it. When you go into a thrift store, if it's all curated and perfect, one, it's really expensive and two, there's not as many treasures. I love a big thrift store that just looks like a big junk store basically because that's where you find the most treasures. So when I go in, the way that mine's set up is a little different, but I normally go to the home section first and I'll go look for stuff like glassware, um, any terracotta pots. I always am looking for baskets and woven pieces and anything that's like bamboo or anything like that. Stuff for my kitchen, mugs, mixing bowls. That's what I always go to first because I love home stuff the most. And then after that, I always go to the men's section, look through sweaters and jackets, and then I'll go to the women's section last to see if I can find anything there. Like this shirt, for example, was from the women's section a couple um, months ago that I bought. It's just like a yellow button up and I tie it with some jean shorts and it's super cute. So that's kind of my theory as to how I shop in the thrift store, but let's go ahead and jump into the haul and I'll show you the goodies I got today. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this wooden paper towel holder and we've just been needing one of these in my house and I love the light wood. These are exactly our chairs for our dining room table are this color so I thought this is super cute and this was 99 cents and you could buy this exact thing at Target right now for probably like 20 bucks and so I was super super happy to find this. Then the next thing are some glass pieces. This is just a terracotta pot that I found. I always have trouble finding these um, at like grocery stores or plant stores sometimes. Um, I just, I don't know, sometimes they're not there, sometimes they're weirdly expensive. So always at a thrift store, they have these a lot of the time. So I got this one, again, it was 99 cents cute just to put a plant in or to sit on your desk honestly and just put pins and stuff like that. I love terracotta pieces in my house. So this next thing, oh this was so sweet. Look at this cute mug. It's just little hand painted coffee mug and do I need a mug? No but I couldn't pass this one up because it's just so cute and it just has little lavender flowers on it and I'm so excited to drink coffee out of it. I have a mug addiction, I will say. Will I ever stop buying mugs? Probably not because I love coffee and they're just so cute. And so I was really, really happy about that too. The next piece I got, sorry, this bag's in the way, is just this little glass bowl. And the reason that I got this, like I told y'all a couple videos ago, we now have a puppy at our house. One of my best friends has a dog named Luca. And so we've just been putting his water when he's at our house in a Tupperware thing. But I found this cute little narrow um, bowl and I thought it would be so cute sitting in our kitchen just to put his water or whatever in. And so I picked that up for Luca. Okay, and then the next thing I got, was such a treasure. I was so excited about it. I got this ginormous glass mixing bowl. That's the cutest peach color. And it actually has like a big fruit or something right there. But I love picking up pieces like this. I love just having cute mix match pastel pieces in my kitchen. I think it's so cute. And I just love, love, love this. And mixing bowls are honestly really expensive. And so every time I find one that I like and it's good quality, I absolutely love. This one was $1.99 and I was so happy to find this. Okay, so I found one more thing for my kitchen and it's just this big wood cutting board. And we have been needing cutting boards as some of you may know, I have nine roommates, and so we need lots of everything in our kitchen. We have a couple cutting boards, but we are wanting some new ones. And some people get weird about buying this kind of stuff from a thrift store, but this one was really good quality. It didn't have any scratches or anything in it. And I just think that if you clean it really good, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. And I thought this would be cute even to use as a cheese board or something too. So this was a really good find. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the clothes. I got some clothing pieces that I'm so, so excited about. So the first thing that I'm grabbing is this cute pink blazer. And I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's just this cute 
baby pink blush color and it's kind of oversized but it's super cute this was like five bucks and i'm super excited to style this just with like a pair of white sneaks and boyfriend jeans or shorts honestly and a tied up white t-shirt i love blazers and so i'm always on the hunt for some and this one is a super good material it's almost like a knit which i was super excited about and i'm always looking for colors this is one of those colors that i'm always looking for in the thrift store i always am looking for pastels and baby yellows baby pinks white those are my favorite colors to wear and so make sure that if you have colors that you love to wear to always be on the lookout for those when you're at the thrift store too then the next thing was one thing that I was probably the most excited about and it's this vintage oversized windbreaker and it's seriously so cute it's just black and white I'm struggling with showing y'all these it's just black and white, super big, oversized, and I'm just super excited to wear this. Just to clasp a pair of like leggings and a white crop top and some cool sneaks. I love stuff like this, and every time that I find a windbreaker or anything, I'm so, so excited. And this one is the best. It's like an extra large. So it's super oversized and just so comfy and cute. So this was for sure a steal and a great find. Okay, I have two more clothing pieces. And so this one is just this comfy, cozy shirt. It's just this big gray waffle shirt and then it has cute little button on the front that is wood. And I have lots of shirts like this that are long sleeve and they're my favorite just to wear around the house. And so I'm always looking for like Henleys and stuff like this. And so this one was super cute, it's short sleeve. And I even think it would be cute um, cut or tied up with some jean shorts and sneakers or just lounging around in the house to wear to sleep and stuff like that. So I always am happy to find stuff like this. And then the last thing that I got is a shirt pretty similar to what I have on, but this one is just baby pink. And so it's just a baby pink button up shirt. Um, and it's just super cute to tie up like I'm wearing now. I just have on a pair of jean shorts and cute white sneakers and it's the easiest outfit. It's so cute. It's also super cute to kind of wear as a cover up over like a white bikini or something would be super cute too. So that is my haul for the day. I honestly normally never go to the thrift store and find that much stuff in one go around, but Goodwill was just popping off today. I think that people finally are just bringing their stuff that they've cleaned out throughout quarantine and it was just doing really, really good today. Also, I did look for some jeans today. I was gonna say that, but I didn't find any, but my absolute favorite pants that I actually have are from the thrift store. I have two pairs of thrifted um, shorts that I made. One are Levi's and the other are Wrangler. And then I have a pair of Wrangler boyfriend jeans and they're absolutely my favorite pants that I own. And so I think that with jeans, they're tricky because lots of times people go in the summer Every single time that I have found jeans, I have found them in the winter. Okay, that is all I have for y'all today. I hope you guys loved going thrifting with me and seeing the pieces that I got, and maybe you got some tips and tricks that can help you the next time that you go to the thrift store and find some goodies. I love you all so much. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Caitlin Gratton or leave a comment down below with anything that you want me to know or tell me an item that that you have thrifted recently that you love in your house, a clothing piece, anything like that. But like I said, I hope you're having the most beautiful day. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I can't wait to talk to you again so soon.